Hi this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you why you should be using Quick Look to preview files on your Mac and not the Preview app. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you can read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So this is a common mistake that new Mac users make particularly if they are switching from Windows. There is an app called Preview and you think you would use that to preview things like images that you have in the Finder. For instance here I have a folder full of images. And if I double click on any one of them it will open up the image in Preview and I could see what it looks like. And you would think from the name that you would use this to preview the image and then if it is the right one open it up in another app like Photoshop. But the problem arises when you want to preview more than one image. Here I have double clicked on the first image in the folder and I want to preview the next one. I can't simply use the arrow keys to arrow down or right. It doesn't go anywhere. You can however select several files like these three and open them. I'm going to use Command O and it will open all three in Preview. And then you see them here on the left. You can use the down arrow to go between them. But if you want to add a fourth image to that you can't easily add them to it. Now the Preview app is great for a lot of things. You can quickly preview files. You can use markup tools to edit them and do things like crop them, rotate them, do all sorts of functions inside a Preview. It is a pretty capable app and it works for images as well as PDF files. But if what you want to do is actually view the files so you can pick one out to use then what you want isn't Preview but Quick Look. So Quick Look is built into Mac OS. It isn't really a separate app. And you can get to it a few different ways. One is with a file selected you can hit the space bar. Officially the keyboard shortcut is Command Y and that works in more situations. But in most situations Spacebar will bring up Quick Look. Now some of the great things about Quick Look are that it stays in this floating window that is always on top. You can resize it and you even have some of the tools that Preview has like the ability to mark things up, crop them, rotate them and all of that. There is even a handy button here to open up the document in the default app. But an important difference is that it is actually just showing you a preview of whatever you have selected here in the Finder. So you can actually use the arrow keys in this case. I am going to use arrow down to go to the next one in the list. And I can look through all of the files in a folder. I didn't have to choose them in advance before activating Quick Look. I can just start with one and then use the arrow keys to go to the next. Use the up arrow key to go back. There is however a special mode where if you select several images, I will select five here and then activate Quick Look. I use the space bar. Then you get these little arrows here on the top and you can use the right and left arrow to go through the group that you have selected. In addition you get this little button here. Click that and it will show you thumbnails for each one. So Quick Look has two modes there. The single file mode and the multi file mode where you get this button here to get an overview of everything. And you can switch between the modes depending upon what you have selected. So with these five items selected I press the space bar but if I then go and select a single item here then it is going to show me that item. If I select three items by holding down the Shift key it will switch into that mode. So you can still use the arrow keys and even Shift and the arrow keys to change what is viewed here. It is a great partnership between Quick Look and the Finder to show you exactly what you have selected. Another great thing about Quick Look is it will show you just about any kind of file. So of course we have got images. But if I were to go up one you could see it is going to show me a preview of a numbers document. It even shows me the different sheets in that document. Here is a PDF and I can actually look at the different pages in the PDF. Here is a pages document. Here is a Microsoft Word document. You can view a video like this. It even has playback controls here at the bottom. A sound file also gives you playback controls and you can hear the sound. So most files that you work with can be previewed in Quick Look. You could even leave the Quick Look window open. I'll make it smaller here. Put it there and I can select any file here in this folder. I can dive down into another folder. You can see the folder selected so it shows me information about the folder. I can select a file here. I could just leave that Quick Look window open to continue to preview files no matter where I go. There is also a full screen mode here which will show you the image full screen and you can exit full screen. That is really handy if you select several files like this. You go to full screen mode and now you can actually arrow through them or actually play it as a slideshow. 
And then you can also go to the index sheet mode as well in full screen mode. Now I've been using list view this whole time and I can use the up and down arrows to go through the images. But if I switch to column view I could do the same thing. Let me shrink this here so you can see. And I could do up and down. I could even go to the left in column view and then go up and down at this level and then the right arrow to go down into this folder. If I'm in icon view then I could do the same thing but I could use all four arrows to navigate around. So I can do a quick look there and I can go to the right. I can go down. I can move around through all of the different files in this folder. And there are some other alternatives as well. For instance in any viewing mode here you can go to View and then Show Preview. And then you'll get the equivalent to Quick Look as a column here on the right. So I can select an image or another image or a document and I'll see the Quick Look Preview here but as part of the Finder window. And that will work in List View and Column View as well. Gallery View is a view that is just about previewing. You'll get the list of files here at the bottom arranged horizontally and you get a large preview there. You can select any one to jump to it and you can use the right and left arrow keys to move around through them. So in addition to Quick Look you have View Show Preview and also Gallery View. So there are actually three better options for viewing files to find one than actually using the Preview app. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you like this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.